people often think of Bitcoin as only virtual money or a transaction system. But if you look closer, you'll see that the monetary aspect is just the tip of the iceberg. That's because Bitcoin is a groundbreaking internet technology for which money is merely one of the possible applications. Blockchain is a decentralized computer that we all share and have equal access to, and we pay only for what we use. What are the benefits of this technology? The benefits of the technology is primarily decentralization, meaning that we don't have to deal with centralized third parties that take heavy commissions because they have captive markets. Um, it's a technology that's also censorship proof, so it enables people from different countries to exchange, to contract with each other, uh, regardless of boundaries, regardless of borders or jurisdictions. Technologies, which is transmission and storage of value, or a money system, an inventor named Vitalik Buterin uh, was working on the Bitcoin project, working on many other projects. Uh, so today we're in quite early stages. So there, there's a lot of adoption at the developer level and many companies are very interested in creating more efficient solutions or coming up with new business models that are enabled by this technology. We're building decentralized identity where people control their own identity and their own communications, unlike in the Facebook government issued identity world. Uh, we're building open music industry platforms, open energy platforms, uh, prediction market platforms, um, decentralized triple entry accounting systems for the financial world to be transparent, um, and poker platforms to have fun on. How can we actually regulate a technology that is autonomous and independent of any third party and that does not actually subsist on any centralized server, if not by regulating the people who are developing it? Is there any risk with this technology? In the same way as the internet, which was initially seen as the space of decentralization and individual emancipation has eventually been turned into this uh, tool for surveillance and control. In the same way, we could say that the blockchain could eventually also, from this technology that is now seen as a disintermediation technology, could also be taken over by corporations or by oppressive states in order to actually become a tool to actually really control and uh, use smart contract as a self-enforcing mechanism to actually really dictate what people can or cannot do. And what are the solutions? We basically have to push towards identifying the positive solution. We have to design systems that actually not only provide this uh, disintermediation and uh, individual emancipation, but also that complies with the regulatory objective of the established powers, so that they can actually find a compromise between the two.